I like the digital concept. The tattooing is where it's rough. A lot of the precision, the really straight, strong, clean outlining that you need to make this design work is what you're missing. And not only do you have sketchy line work, you actually just see some of the squares aren't square, some of the lines don't line up. Chests are hard to tattoo, and I lost some of my stencil. If you can't do a clean tattoo every time, it's gonna hurt you. Today, you must create pixelated tattoos. Pixelated what? Damn. Is there an instruction booklet for pixel tattoos? I have no idea how to make one of those. A pixelated tattoo is taking an image and breaking that down into individual squares and individual colors. They take forever. You do. Let's meet your canvases. Team DJ, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign the human canvases. DJ, pick two artists from your team to talk to the canvases. I'm gonna pick Little D and Frank. Come on up. You're good, boys. Get them, boys. I would be worried if you were not on Team DJ. We're gonna find the weirdest canvases and give them to the biggest players on each of the teams. What would you like to get today? A uh, pixelated desktop computer with a 3D skull inside. Katie. That's me. Little D. That's me. Fame. All righty. Let's do the thing. Pixelated tattoos are a tough thing to pull off. These artists could get lost in their own interpretations. What do you think of that? Hell yeah. Killer. If you're not crystal clear on what you're supposed to deliver, you will definitely end up on the bottom and potentially go home. So you think I should leave the outside blocks open? If you think so, then do it. If you don't think so, don't do it. My canvas, his arm is all broken out because of razor burn. He shaved himself before he came to get tattooed. Don't be afraid to put black in. So it actually belongs there. Trying to make straight lines on top of razor burn is really difficult because you're going over bumps. It's just a disaster. Are you doing all solid black right there? No, this is black right now. My biggest issue right now with this tattoo is these pixels are looking like crossword puzzles. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. I don't want to come from a tattoo today to go to the bottom. Working these fat ones just really graze mostly at the ends of the feathers. Okay. It's been rough for me to realize that after 24 years, I'm not as good as somebody that might have been tattooed for five, but I didn't have the same advantages as they did. And tattooing wasn't always about being artistic. It was about street credit. The white ones, you can keep a little closer. Like that one white. Yeah. I try to stay humble. I'm going to keep learning until I'm done tattooing, which I hope isn't for another 20 years. Today, you had to show precision by creating pixelated tattoos. Let's see how you did. Fame. This thing is challenged throughout. You have these pixels in the background, but then you have the same exact tones in the pixels in front of this thing, which is really making it kind of difficult to read and understand why these pixels are there. Precision day. Pixels aside, the line work is busted. Nothing solid, nothing smooth, nothing saturated. This beat. Katie. Your challenge right out of the gate, just not doing the most simplest thing. A skull, realistic, black and gray, anybody that can't do that, just go start packing right now. The line work in this thing is rough. He had severe razor burn, and he was gushing blood. If you look at the whole top of this outline of the computer, it is a bumpy ride. Lil D. It is very legible. The biggest thing about this for me is color saturation. All the red squares are not solid. The areas of outline that you have that butt up to the headdress, you can see all the wavering lines. This one's super challenged. Today, you had to create pixelated tattoos. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's hear from the coaches. Why did you vote Katie to the bottom? It came down to trauma to the skin. It's way overworked. When I started to line, it immediately started to gush, and I was not able to get anything to stay. It boils down to how simple your tattoo is, and yet still how many problems there are with precision. There are no excuses here. I should have done better. The one thing I do know is this is not her work, because she's much better than this. I can do better line work than that. I have a little more experience than the rest of these guys. I have more tricks in my bag. This is one of the ones of the day that any of us would actually want on our body. 
I think it looks tough. Why is American traditional if it looks up? That's a tough tattoo. At 20 years, color's still not solid. This is the simplest tattoo in the room. This is exactly his style. You think this is more simple than Katie's? Yes, I do. He dropped the ball on it again. For my tattoo, at least you can tell what the it is. And at the end of the day, I got more heart than any of these mother up here. I have heart too. I mean, that's the reason I'm here. As you can see from the last challenge, I got tattooed today. This tattoo is a technical application nightmare. The challenge got to me. You know I could do better than that. It sucks to go from the ultimate high to the bottom. Precision, you just don't hit. Judges, it is time to determine who is going home. I mean, it boils down to the technical application. But I gotta go with Katie. I can read Katie's tattoo better than I can read things. Stay in textbook. Katie. The judges have decided, Katie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. We've seen you do better tattoos than this. It's just what happens on the day is what happens on the day. You should walk out of here proud. Head up. You're good. Thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. Today, you must create cross-stitch tattoos. Mother I don't know what cross-stitch is. The little round frames you see in your grandmother's bathroom, it says yeah, dumb ass shit in it. With intricate patterns and hundreds of tiny, repetitive lines, consistency is crucial to make your design look like it's sewn into your canvas's skin. Wait, what? I love sewing other people's skin, so that's not a problem. It is grandma's patterns. What are you looking to get? Cross-stitch uh, T-Rex on my shin. Ooh. I don't know how you're gonna do a cross-stitch T-Rex. It has a lot of details, and if you don't hit it right, you're not gonna be able to tell what it is. I would like a colorful cross-stitch gothic fairy on my ribs up to my breast. We are for sure getting a T-Rex on a shin. Ash? It's not happening. He's not getting color, and he's not getting on his shin. He just doesn't know it yet. Jake. Okay, the rooms. This is someone they hate. Ashley? Hi. This is not going to be good. I can't believe I have an entire gothic fairy to knit on the roofs. So you want, it is a goth fairy? Yeah. Yep. Invoking darkness. Um, yep. But a protector, you know, some sort of sword. Uh, I'd like her to have a corset on. The canvas wants so many elements in a cross stitch pattern. How do I get all those tiny details? My mind, for the most part, goes to black and gray. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate the talent it takes to do black and gray, but yep. I really prefer yep. color. And so you're thinking ribs? Yeah, like right where I have my hand. Dead set on that spot? Yes. I got royally screwed over by the men. Cross-hatching flames, I don't know how, if they're gonna look like flames. I would put like an outline on it, yeah. fairly solid, and then I would cross-stitch, like depth. Oh, see, I don't wanna do that. I am not no cross-hatch master. Five hours left, guys. Five more hours. I just want to make sure it's legible. I'd rather not finish a tattoo than do a bad tattoo on you. I spent so much time drawing that I'm the last person to start tattooing. You ready? Yep. Either I'm gonna have to make my tattoo look kind of sloppy to get it done, or potentially not finish it at all. I wonder if he did, like underneath where the grass is, like if he did like little cross stitches to kind of give you a little bit more cross stitching. Her one eye, is it kind of a little wonky? I think she got punched in the eye. It's incredibly difficult to do faces even on perfect skin when they're this tiny. We're definitely gonna be going in with more grays just to work on that. The fact that I'm having trouble with the skin also is just making it super difficult to render. I'm putting as little cross-stitch as humanly possible. What else do I do to make it cross-hatchy? Make it to be 60% cross-stitch, 40% dinosaur. And so if that means kind of coming up the side and adding some to the side to kind of help give you more cross-hatchings. I'm nervous about making a mistake with something that I really don't understand how to do it. Don't really care. 64 again, I'm gonna be honest. Are some of your people just not grasping cross-stitch? See. It looks like you delivered some badass like I asked for. Good. I like that. Thank you very Good. much. No problem. I dig it. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. 
I'm worried. He sat like shit and had that old guy skin that flaked off every time I wiped it. Ugh, that's the worst. So I was like, that all right, the worst. this was a backfire. Jake's in trouble. Is he really? If that doesn't go home, I'm gonna be pissed. Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating a cross-stitch tattoo. Jake. Judging consistency, this tattoo is beat. Just that color that's put in the fire and that outline around the fire, not super tight, not super solid. The shading in the skull looks real choppy. And then these X's, man, are out of control. No pattern, no consistency, totally wild. Ashley. I know that the things in the background are supposed to be wings, but the top looks like some sort of cityscape, and her chest and midriff looks like some sort of weird digitized censoring. Her face is rough. The shading that you do in this, you really give her a black eye. Yeah, the face was super tiny, and that was really just difficult Who to do. Who drew it? I did. Correct. If you have a bad way about you going in, you're not ending well. Ash. Oh, damn it. So get it over with. You all look really nice today. What was the outburst about? I think I just didn't necessarily understand the cross-stitching. Fishnet mouth. That's not what the challenge was. If you're setting out to do a perfect black and gray tattoo and then tattoo a grid over it, so be it. But let them both be perfect. You have a lot of tonality. And doing these really long lines, when you pull those lines, the line next to it wavers. You have inconsistencies in both sides. I think I've sweat in places I didn't know you could sweat. So there's that. Today you're being tested on consistency. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Duffy, why did the men's team vote Ash to the bottom? Ash had more issues with just like understanding the challenge. I tried my best. Once I started, I realized that maybe I should have been doing the X's, but it was already too late. So I just made a judgment call. If the lines in your tattoo were smooth, clean, straight, and solid, and the shading in your dinosaur was nice and beautiful and clean, you would not be in the bottom. That is not the case. I don't feel like it was super difficult, even with the T-Rex, to make that look cross-stitched with mine. I'd rather attempt to do the style that was asked for than not finish it at all. What I see with this more than anything is the part that you tattooed as a comfortable, normal style of tattooing, which is the skull. It just gets away from you. And that, for me, is the bummer people that have tattooed strong, and because you get thrown something that you're not comfortable with, everything goes with it. This is not a, normally what any of my black and gray work looks like. I think just the overall request and what I had to work with was really difficult. The application is rough, the look is rough, the interpretation is off. I definitely tried my best with this. The X's that are in the ferry are a hell of a lot cleaner than what's in this bandana. The cross stitching in his hat or whatever it is in this chili pepper is jacked. There's no real X's that are in there. There's V's and there's single lines and what have you. To me, that's the one that is most legible. The safest. Yes. The one that's the most confusing to understand concept and design-wise is Ashley. I also will be voting for Ashley. The judges have decided, Ashley, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Your canvas and this challenge really got the best of you. Thank you for the opportunity. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo outer space. Dude. I'm totally freaking out. I've never tattooed space before, and there is no beginning or end to space in general. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. Outer space itself is the ultimate darkness, but objects in space are visible because they're either creating light or reflecting light. Without contrast between light and dark, your tattoo will be unrecognizable. Deep space is black and achieving contrast is really tough. You need to be really creative or it's going to be a blobby blur. I'm looking for a new school solar system, lower throat, chest. Lower throat where? Like So I could hide it with a dress shirt, just like uh, right around the collarbone here. I better not get that. The guy will quit. I really don't want the chest. It's a hard place to tattoo. The skin inflames really, really easy. Gia. Knew it. Of course you would. You boys, man. You were dead to me. I know. What's your critique? Once I get on my white end. I think if you pull it into like a peachy yellow. Peachy yellow in there? For the highlight? Yeah. I am not that big a fan of Gia's idea. 
I think Gia bit off way more than she could chew. I'm worried about my technical skills in this tattoo because the chest is a tricky area to tattoo. You get a lot of inflammation. The skull picks are definitely screwing me over. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up, machine's down. No more ink. It's great. I love the planet. Perfect. Team Peck, today you had to show contrast by tattooing outer space. And Team Nunez, you will serve as the jury of peers. Gia, your canvas wanted a new school design? Yes. How did you guys arrive at this? I've never done space before, so I thought I was doing something that was out of the box. I like the digital concept. The tattooing is where it's rough. A lot of the precision, the really straight, strong, clean outlining that you need to make this design work is what you're missing. And not only do you have sketchy line work, you actually just see some of the squares aren't square, some of the lines don't line up. Chests are hard to tattoo, and I lost some of my stencil. If you can't do a clean tattoo every time, it's gonna hurt you. All right, we're the jury appears, and we're here to decide who has the worst tattoo of the day. Gia's tattoo, I feel like she missed the mark on basic stuff that shouldn't even be talked about. I feel the complete opposite. Can you really put Boneface next to Gia and say that he's a better tattooer? I love the idea and the concept of making it look really digital and pixelated, but when you do that, you shouldn't be able to see the lines in your squares, and if you do, they should at least be straight. But she is an artist, and she can fix her mistakes. Leaving the personal at home, my it first has mind is to just do technical. With personal. The first thing is technical ability, and if G is no. lacking there, then that should be gone. At this point, none of us should have technical application problems. But none of us should be bad artists either. Today, you tattooed outer space. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Team Nunez, why did you vote Gia to the bottom? Technical application. That was the main reason. We think it was a cool idea. She just didn't execute it as well as she should have. 